Hello and welcome to the Humble Seer. So I'm going to do Yusuf Bell. This is the Atlanta Child Murders. And Yusuf Bell was strangled and he was nine years old. And I'm hearing that Yusuf was the perfect, like if you watch any of the other videos that I've created around this, then you'll know that, you know, some children were taken, some boys were, like, the wrong boy was taken, things like that, right? This wasn't, they weren't ideal. I'm hearing that Yusuf was perfect. He was the ideal child. Okay, so once again, Yusuf Bell, he was nine years old and he was strangled. Now, I'm hearing that he had a relatively quiet life as it relates to the other children because most of the children did not. It was chaotic in the household. But I'm hearing just Yusuf was had a, a, a milder version. He was a very mild man mild mannered child. Okay. Um so what can you tell us about Yusuf? Now I have a video titled The uh, White Milk Truck, right? You might want to check that out because the, the, that white milk truck was involved in Yusuf. And I'm also hearing that someone close to Yusuf uh, witnessed him being taken. And that person is still alive. I'm hearing barely, but... They are still alive and they can tell the story and they wanted to tell the story and they tried to tell the story I'm hearing. But for some reason, the police didn't listen. The police are a bit of an issue as it relates to this entire case and I'm hearing debacle. They were really dropped the ball in so many areas of this investigation. Okay, but let's get some information on Yusuf's, uh, his, you know, the situation around him as it relates to the Atlanta child murders. What, what can you tell us? I'm hearing that there were just a lot of really bloodthirsty people surrounding him. They were around him. It was like in a circle and he was in a cage for a while. And that's something that they do. They put these children, some of these children in the cage to break them, to break their spirit, break their will. Um, that was part of it. Okay. All right. So we have the high priestess and the high priestess is about mystery, mystery, retreat and reflect and, and um, trusting your instincts and things like that. Now, I feel like this relates to Yusuf's uh, mother or mother figure, right? She was very connected to like the spirit realm and, and, and she knew a lot about what was going on. And she just, I'm hearing and seeing, she never thought that, that, that Yusuf would be a victim. But she came forward and tried to, you know, tell, tell the story, tried to help, you know, with the investigation. All right, what else can you tell us? I'm just hearing, shh, be quiet, stop, shh, no, 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 don't do that, Yusuf. I'm hearing that, and it's really quite sinister, the person that's it, or, or persons, because I feel it's more than one person. They're like, shh, because Yusuf was crying at certain stages, and he was that child that would, would cry and, you know, so much, not loudly, but just cry and just, you know, to the point where he couldn't even catch his breath. And I hear that that just annoyed the people around him. Just unbelievable. Just really, just 
just unbelievable. Un unbelievable. It's a nine-year-old child. What else can you tell us about this kidnapping? Okay. So we have the five of wands. This is challenges, fights. And I'm hearing that there was arguing because he was transported to a couple of different places. And I'm hearing that people saw him during that movement. You know, people saw Yusuf during the time that he was missing. During the time that he was missing. And so that that is where the challenge lies because the five of wands is about challenge. And that's where the challenge was because like, oh, we've got to move him now. You know, we can't take him back here because of this, that, and the other. We They've seen us. They have seen us. And they, I, I'm hearing, are the people in the neighborhood, the, the you know, neighbors in the community have seen these people. Now, the people that are involved in all of this, some of them live in that community. Some of them live in that community and look like the people that live in that community. They don't stand out like a sore thumb. Whereas other people that were involved who were higher up would have stood out like a sore thumb. Okay? What else can you tell us? And that's as it relates to all of these kidnappings. Okay, so we have nine of cups. Nine of cups is wishes fulfilled. And so this is the last card I'm going to pull. Yusuf liked little toy cars or, you know, things like that. And so he was being like bribed, for lack of a better term. Because remember I was saying how he would cry and he would try to catch his breath, you know, and his face was all snotty. And and so the people were just like, well, we can't hurt him. We can't hit him or, you know, you know, we can yell at him, but that's not working. Hence the crime. Let's buy him something that would be his ten of cups. And so that's what happened. They they would They bought him something and it was like a toy, a little blue car or something I'm seeing. So that that's use of uh, that's use of story. Um, once again, he was nine years old and he was strangled. So thank you so much for stopping by the humble seer. If you're enjoying my work, do consider uh, subscribing, liking, and I do have a uh, donation page that you will find in the link in the description box as well as links in the um, the banner of my YouTube channel. And until next time, you do take good care and we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.